Hello. Welcome to Holland Stash with Nashies. I am not good at lives yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Let's see. I'm getting my phone set up so I can read the chat. Give me a second. Okay, there's nobody in here yet, so that's cool. Hey, Miss Girl made it! Hey, how you doing? I hope everybody's feeling okay and all that. We're just going to do a Valentine's Day haul of what I got and then uh, some skincare. Right, I'm, still... I'm, I'm doing the stuff from Olive Young. Testing frame rates and all that good stuff. Hi, yeah. this is my hand. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Girl says, congratulations on the promotion, Mr. Nashies, because I told everybody yesterday about uh, you transferring and getting the promotion. And oh, yes. So. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yes, that's... Taylor Vaughn, hello. Good to see you here. We're just letting some people trickle in, and then we'll do some stuff when we're, you know, troubleshooting, because we're not good at lives yet. So. Right. So far, we got um, green. Okay, we're green. Okay. And so. then, well, and then occasionally... It Bops to red and then goes back. Okay. Yeah, we're working on getting new internet. Um, <laughs> Gravy passing away kind of threw us for a loop, so we're behind on some stuff right now. I'm gonna. This is not gonna interfere with anything. I'm okay. just going to switch a setting real fast. Oh, thank you, Ms. Girl. She posted the link on her Twitter so that people can see. Like I said, we're just giving it a second to to adjust everything here, and then we'll get into the the stash. I have my crock pot going, so I don't have to go anywhere right now to do anything in the kitchen. All right. I think we're still, we're still rolling. It's fine. You don't have to be an expert. You just got to show up. Hey, I guess yeah. that's true. That's what we're trying know? to do. Yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what we're trying to we're do. Get some muddling. hours, get some experience, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. Um, so what I've got here is this is going to be, like I said, Valentine's Day and then Olive Young. If you're not familiar with Olive Young, it's a very big retailer in uh, Korea and they sell skincare, body care, hair care, all that kind of stuff and uh, all the major brands. It's a, a great place to shop for things to make sure that you're not getting a counterfeit like on Amazon, sometimes you have to worry. And if you use their app, there's sales all the time. Hey, Blondie, good to see you here. All right, since we're getting into it, I will, I will go ahead and start with kind of the more boring stuff. That way, if more people come in, they'll get into the skincare because the skincare is kind of the fun stuff. This is, this is <laughs> Valentine's Day stuff here that I got. Yay. And, and we call it boring. It's not really boring because it's super comfortable and I love it. <laughs> so cool. um, hang on. Let me check the brand on this real quick. What is this? Okay. These were uh, Mark New York, which is Andrew Mark. And my dad got me these for Valentine's Day. They are... Some nice joggers. Pantalones. And they're kind of corduroy-esque, <laughs> but, you know, not an overly thick yeah, material. A little bit, yeah. Nice and zap, stretchy. Zap, zap, zap. The... You know, these are an extra large, <laughs> so they fit me great. Not tight, but not too loose. So if you have a Costco, I do recommend those. Yes, here for the skincare. Uh, Costco gets in some good clothing. Uh, Kaya did a White Fox uh, haul recently. They're um, a great company out of Australia. And every once in a while, Sam's Club and Costco will carry White Fox. So, yes, be right back. Yes, the skincare is coming up later, so go do your thing. Next thing my dad got me for Valentine's Day was, this is the 32 Degree Cool brand from Costco. And it is a very nice lightweight hoodie. And it has pocket on the front, and it is green. Has a hood, no ties, because ties drive me nuts. But this one will go easily into spring because it's not too heavy, but it's great for layering. So if you like, I'm still getting used to the camera, excuse me. If you like lightweight hoodies, this one is fantastic. And let me check the size on that. That one is also an extra large and it fits me comfortably. I would say it's not loose, it's also not tight. So it's not gonna be your oversized. Because uh, I'm five foot seven, about a buck seventy five, one hundred and seventy five pounds. So you know I'm chunky. I am. I'm not skinny. I'm not skinny. Oh, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do these for Valentine's Day. Okay. Well, this was from Mr. Nashies. I don't know how much this retails for. This matches my Hello Kitty collection. As you can see, it's got the Hello Kitty, yes. and she's in her one of her original outfits. Oops. And she was on Amazon. Yes, this one was yeah, Amazon. I don't know if she still is. but uh, She's a little cutie pie. Yeah. So if you have somebody in your life that likes Hello Kitty, Amazon is a place to go. That and what's the other one? Um, 
Japan, LA. Japan, LA. Japan, LA is going to be a little more expensive usually, but uh, usually worth it. I need to look up White Fox. I've heard of them before. We don't have a Sam's Club or Costco super close, though. <laughs> she said, you see a whole different world than I do at five foot one. Yes, yes. I am, <laughs> I'm slightly on the taller side, you know. Um, so, and I know where these came from. Okay. I stock CVS because they get in uh, very specific Hello Kitty stuff that other places don't. And Mr. Yeah. Nashie's got these slippers for me, Hello Kitty, from CVS. Mm -hmm. And they're just cute, comfy little slippers. And I don't know how much they are because, again, they were a gift. But I can't imagine too much, 10 bucks I or something. I don't remember. Probably something like that. Yeah, yeah. like 10 bucks. <laughs> but CVS gets in exclusive sure Hello somewhere. Kitty stuff, you know. Yeah. So, oop, we got a lopping in here. <laughs> Don't need the lopping. <laughs> and then also he picked these up at, I think these were CVS too. Cute little fuzzy socks. Ones with kitties. Cute little kitties. CVS gets all sorts of uh, goofy little socks in. And then these ones are Hello Kitty and they have, let me show you here. Get it flipped around. And excuse my allergies. I've got the Hello Kitty on the socks there. They're so cute. You can never have too many socks. Yep. Let's see. Hi, Ange. Welcome in. Hey, Ange. We are just doing Hello, a quick everybody. haul. Let's see. Oh, hand me that. Okay. That's the, that one. This one? Yes. Also CVS, because again, I stock them for Hello Kitty content. This is just your basic tin container with nothing in it. But they're inexpensive and I'm going to use it to store sheet masks and you'll see why when I get into skincare because oh my gosh I, I kind of overloaded on the skincare a little bit hand me the bucket of stuff mm. this, this was from my dad yeah the bucket of stuff I don't know where he got it probably Costco or Sam's Club but it is a cute little bucket of candy and stuff haven't opened it this I believe is glass and so I'm going to use that to store some skincare and whatnot, and I thought afterwards, but I thought that was really neat. It's got pretzel in there, some Ghirardelli chocolates, and some bonbons. And Costco and Sam's, Sam's Club are great for, like, small gift baskets for people. If you're looking for a, a, a gift for somebody you don't know all that well, it'll have, like, coffee cups, coffee, they'll have meats, cheeses, they even have wine ones, so... Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> Me. Hang on, let me read the chat real quick here. My son is going to be playing with a toy drum set, so I don't know what you're saying. But I'm oh, here wow. <laughs> and who bought that for him? Uh, nice. My skin type is I'm aging and I'm dry and dehydrated. I'm super duper dry. Always been, like, wickedly dry. Americans have great stores. Yep. Some, yeah, some we, we do have good stores. If you're looking good. for, because uh, I'm going to go into the Korean skincare here in a minute. If you're looking for that kind of stuff, Olive Young and Yes Style, I believe, ship worldwide. So, yeah. And where are you from, Ange? Oh, okay. We'll just move on to some Valentine's Day skincare. Jelly Bean Glow Sheet Mask. A Easter Chicks Vanilla Infused Calm Sheet Mask. And Chocolate Bunny Detox Cocoa Infused Sheet Mask. Again, CBS. I know for a fact. His aunt bought it for him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's us ants that do that kind of thing. I have bought many, many, many <laughs> noisy things for um, my niblets, mm. you know, uh, for sure. And for no reason at all, this was from my dad. He bought me a chocolate heart. I ate the candy that Mr. Nashies gave me other than... Wait, is it up here? Yeah, it is. Hi, Smelly Cat. Snickers. Because I always get a Snickers for every holiday. That's that's our tradition. Smelly Cat. Hello, Smelly Cat. Welcome <laughs> in. Oh, Angie's up in Canada. I know for a fact that uh, Olive Young uh, does ship to Canada. And I believe you can shop Sam's Club, Club and Costco online in Canada. I think think you can. I'll have to double check. I can put that in a uh, community post because even if you're not a member, you can shop at Sam's Club and Costco for certain things online. Oh, thank you. They say I love the pillows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have lots and lots of cat pillows, like tons of them. <laughs> but I think everybody saw my huge Hello Kitty collection, which that isn't even, that's not even half of my Hello Kitty collection and that's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That, that it's not thing. even half of my Hello Kitty collection. 
traveling to the States in three weeks. I'm going to stock, stock up on what I can on stuff I can get up there. Hey, you know, do it while you, while you can, you know, because uh, I know when I visit places, I always stock up on things. I love to go to California, which is just a state over and shop their Costco's because they mm -hmm. have different things than we do. You know, they get in local stuff. It's fun. This was just a random gift from Mr. Nashies, and I'm blaming Kaya. Kaya, if you're out there watching this on a replay or if you're you're in the background, um, this is your fault. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you can use your Costco cards out of the country. I, I believe you can. I think Costco cards are international. I'm pretty sure that Costco cards are international. But this is Kaya's fault. Uh, <laughs> went over to <laughs> the Target, the local Target, and got... This cute Hello Kitty tank top with Pusheen on it. And this is an extra large and it fits me comfortably. It's not loose. It's not tight. It's just perfect for, I would say, you know, bopping around in the summer. I'm not going to go outside in this, but I will walk around in my house in this tank top, you know, with, with just a pair of pants on because I don't care who's going to see me, Mr. Nashies, mm -hmm. and he doesn't mind. But uh, the quality is no, pretty not. good for Target. <laughs> And the retail on this was fourteen ninety nine, and it says Nantucket Breeze, which I don't, which I think is the color. I don't know. Could be the brand. That would make sense. But it's Hello Kitty in Pusheen, so. But it's cotton and polyester, fourteen bucks, fifteen bucks, and it's just cute. Yes, Japan does have Costco. Oh right, I didn't know. That. Hey, Ham Hat, good to see you here. Oh, yeah, yes, right. yes, Girl, Miss Girl, go to the Target and get you one. Because, cause, well, it is a sports bra, except it doesn't hold anything in. Particularly when you're like a triple D like I am. That's that's not going to hold anything tight to you. I'm, I'm rocking some melons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I need to know for the shoulder boulder holder for what I got, you know. And then this one retails for $12.99. Uh, the color on it is cement, and again, this is Hello Kitty and Friends by Sanrio. This one has uh, the Twin Stars, Karapi, uh, My Melody, Pochacho, and Chaco Cat on it. Sorry, I have to look at the shirt. This is a double extra large, because I wanted this one loose. And it's super cute. Target is killing it with the Hello Kitty stuff lately. And again, that one was 13 bucks. Hey, where's Saturday Baker? I saw Saturday Baker. Well, that's a sports bar. I've been in so many countries. Hey, Saturday Baker. Yeah, I thought it was always Gigi's fault. <laughs> you have no more because of weight loss. Yeah, when I when I lose weight, I do lose quite a bit on the top of me. You know, that's uh, the unfortunate part of that. Oh, I'm just gonna do this one randomly. Okay, oh, what's the brand of it? Hold on. I need to Google something real quick. <laughs> I know, I'm chaotic. It's fine. It's all good. It's fine. Just sing or something. Entertain or something. <laughs> <laughs> <Sing. laughs> Hold on. I was singing earlier. Smelly cat, smelly cat. Something reminded me of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this will be worth me like looking this yes. up real quick because this is a dupe for something. Useful info. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it's spell, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. It's the uh, Foreo. Foreo UFO, if you've heard of that. Hang on a second. Is there anything on my phone that will dox me? I don't think so. Hang on. And I'll show it to you. I just have to make sure there's nothing on my phone that will dox me. Um, these things, if you can see that. They're a skincare device for masks and stuff. Well... Target has a dupe in called the Nuri. And I think it's by Spa Sciences. And the UFO is like 200, 300 bucks. And this thing was 30. Sure. So I'm going to try this out. It's not bad. You know, and, <laughs> and I'll do like a mini review of it after I try it. Because it's supposed to be pretty cool. Like, gets your skincare more into your skin. And I'm old and dry and I need it. So, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh, I love my Nashi. Your tweet, Miss Girl, brought me here. I'm glad you're in here. So glad. Yes, please support me. I appreciate it. I love the background. The kitties yes, are just lovely. Everyone. Thank you. <laughs> it's giving Mariah Carey with all the Hello Kitty stuff. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. And and one of these days, I will get all of my Hello Kitty stuff together and do like a tour of it because I have shoes, I have clothes, I have purses, I have random things that just people have given me because of my Hello Kitty obsession. I have. 
I'm just trying to think of everything that I have Hello Kitty because I have like almost every pair of Hello Kitty vans. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. should I show them the? Sh- okay. <laughs> Shame me for purchasing overpriced skincare hey, gadgets. Hey, no I love that. skincare gadgets. No, 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 no. Absolutely no shame in that. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will give you the update. I'll do a little video on the the little knockoff UFO device. I'm gonna take a break from the haul real quick because since we're talking about Hello Kitties, I'm gonna oh. show you my most shameful Hello Kitty purchase. <laughs> yeah, just take yeah. me a second. If to we're get talking about, it. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's dusty. <laughs> Gotta dust it. Hold on. <laughs> she will be back. We need a cat in here to entertain us. I think Pika just turned brown. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Well, of course he did. He poops every time we go live. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. He wants. It's like no. All right. Let me show everyone my Hello Kitty shame. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I paid way too much money for these on my birthday when I turned. How old was I? Was this my forty? First birthday? Yes. I think. 40th or 41st? I want to... I don't know. I want to say 40th, but... Thank you for tweeting out the link, Ham Hat. I'm, I'm learning yes, how to do the, the looking at chat and the, the live thing at the same time. I'm not very good at it yet. Um, Easter Hello Kitty top. You know what? Um, I will look for you and see if I can find one and put it on my community tab. Um, let me write that down because... I'm really good at finding Hello Kitty stuff. Oh, indeed. And I'm sure they've got an Easter one. Yeah. Let's and then I'll show you my shame. Okay. Okay. Gudetama is my spirit animal. Yeah, no, so they <laughs> asked, do you collect anything? Do I collect anything? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Buffy stuff is, yeah. is quite quite pricey, but hey, Buffy's is fantastic. Buffy is fantastic. I miss mm. that show. Mm-hmm. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's when they could continue. Not really. <laughs> no, I'm on the continue. Amazon tab. Do you collect <laughs> anything? Let's do that before I show everyone. I collect anything. Yeah. Um, kind of. Music. I guess. I guess. Yeah, music. I still have a lot of physical media, and uh, some of it I want to put on a hard drive, but some of it I am keeping as shiny silver discs. Um, Smelly Cat said, "There's a few on Amazon, but not quite what I want." Um. I know another place, and like I said, if, if I see a good one, I'll tweet it out on my community tab because I know some secret Hello Kitty places. Mm, yes, yes. That is, that is my, my superpower. Yeah, <laughs> Saturday Baker says I waste my money on art supplies. Heck yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I'll show my shame. Okay. All right. <laughs> I waited up until the middle of the night to purchase these because they were limited edition. These are the Hello Kitty Irregular Choice um, shoes. And they were like three hundred dollars. <laughs> and no, I'm not kidding. They were like three hundred dollars. <laughs> and they are never to be worn. These these are for show only. These are for taking pictures. Right. Let me pull this out real quick. I'm not gonna go hiking in these. Yeah, we're not gonna go hiking in those. But <laughs> you can see the box is super It'll cute. It's a collector's box. And I am going to display these. Okay, they, I, I paid way too much money for these. <laughs> I don't know though, did you? Because how cool are these? They have. Let me get out the, the tongue. And everybody, excuse my hands. I was picking my cuticles after Gravy passed away, and um, my hands haven't healed. I was very stressed out. You can see that. And then. Hello Kitty bubble pop out on the side. As you can see, they have not been worn. <laughs> These are my shame. You can shame me. They're like $300 shoes. <laughs> um, I saved up for a really long time to get these when I saw that they were dropping. And uh, yeah, they were a treat. I, uh, <laughs> you know, but. Uh, Hi, you didn't ask, but I will tell you. Oh, hey! That's Tina. Hey, Tina. How you doing? It's good to see you here. Put some of your... Yeah, Taylor, post some of your stuff on Twitter. That would be cool to see. I would, because Spike is, you know, goals. Yeah, I know those shoes are... They're horrible. I... <laughs> it's like they're not they're wearing awesome. shoes, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, they, not they are not... Not for their intended purpose. <laughs> yeah, no, those are not wearing shoes. Irregular Choice actually puts out great shoes, though. 
Uh, if you're in the market for something that's really, really fun, they go from classic styles to really fun. They have Alice in Wonderland. They do collaborations with Hello Kitty. They do collaborations with uh, Disney. So if you're into that kind of stuff, they do have the ones that are crazy, like the ones that I got, which are not the, I mean, they're comfortable. They're com Let's just put that out there. Tina is going live in just a bit. So uh, uh, make sure to go check that out because she's fantastic. She is wonderful. Okay. Since, since it's mostly Gorals here right now, I'll do this period panty company because it has what it was. So obviously you don't want to have that close to your bits, even if you, even if it hasn't been proven that, that it does anything yet, because you know, you just want to be safe. And so I decided to go and search for a brand that doesn't have that particular chemical in it. And don't worry, these are closed. I haven't worn them. These are the Bam Body period panties and they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. And I tried them out the last time I had my cycle. They work great. They're fantastic. Size up. These are a double extra large. I usually buy an extra large, but you know, your stomach can be swollen. I recommend these. They wash up easy peasy. Um, they're great for at night. So I just want to put that out there. They're like 10 to 15 bucks for the Bam Body on Amazon for those. Yes, Hello Kitty. I have tons and tons of Hello Kitty. <laughs> I, am, I am going to uh, do a video on it one of these days, like I said. And I think you all will like these. This was another Amazon purchase that I got for my channel. And these are a set of one, two, three, four, six wooden spoons, and they have all different kitties on them. And it was five bucks on Amazon. They have dogs and other things too. So if you're into that, go because they're on sale right now on Amazon for these. And I just thought they'd be cute for my cooking. Hello, Reality Check. Good to see you in here. Hello, Reality Ruthie. Check. Good to see you in here too. $36 on six packs of fat-free, sugar-free pudding mix on Amazon because Canada doesn't sell it. Oh, wow, that's awful. Mm. No, Amazon is great. Amazon is fantastic. You know, I'm wearing um Amazon shirt right now. And I get a lot of skincare and, and stuff off Amazon. Just make sure that you're purchasing from a reputable um, store on Amazon. If you're into Korean beauty, credit think is really well known and they sell a bunch of different brands and you won't get uh you know screwed over like that so yes amazon has great yoga pants i just ordered a pair because we're going into spring and i'll review those they should be here tomorrow and i have a fun like shampoo surprise coming it's it's something new that i'll i'll review for y'all okay i have to get into this because i have some reviews on some stuff too as far as skincare but i'm gonna show you real quick what Mr. Nashie's got me for Valentine's Day here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Graveyard Flowers. It's good to see Hello, you in here. Flowers. Okay, I'm going to show you these. All right, I'm going to show you the box first. This is a gentleman, I think it's a gentleman, who went uh, viral on Reddit for his designs. And anybody who knows me on Twitter knows I love The NeverEnding Story and Auron, which is an Ouroboros. Um, this is Copperist Woo is the name. You can check them out on Instagram, all sorts of places. They have a website. <laughs> Clothes I don't need, but always want. Yeah, no, I know that feeling. And um, his his stuff is really amazing. And I got, let's see if I can show this up close here. It's an Ouroboros ring. I'll pull it out. And kind of give you an up close. It's an Ouroboros. Pardon my hands. Like I said, I was stressed out and was picking my fingers. But it's really, really pretty and really well done. You can see it there on my hand. This was from Mr. Nashies, but not only did he stop there, because I love the never-ending story. And like I said, copperous woo, very high quality. He didn't stop there, because in the never-ending story, um, Orin is both... Um, Silver and gold, or silver and copper, I should say. I'm just going to show one of each of these. He got me two pairs of earrings so that I can mix and match. And they are the Ouroboros earrings from Copperist Woo. Let's see if that's focusing. Tell me if that's focusing when you see it. And they are such high quality, and they are handmade. And that one is the copper finish. And then I got the silver finish. And I'll take a picture of me wearing these so that you can get a better idea and post it but these are beautiful oh, and they're really affordable 
and it's in living my dreams, you know. He's such a mm -hmm. sweetheart, isn't he? Eh, I have my mom. I'm like crazy frugal, <laughs> so living vicariously through you. Hey, do it, you know. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be one of my last hauls for a while because we got to pay off Mr. Nashi's rabies vaccine, and that is shockingly <laughs> expensive. Mm -hmm. And then Graby did pass away, and we have to, um, you know, pay for his uh, cremation costs. He should be home this week, so. I'm yeah. still crying over that part. <laughs> you can hear my voice sort of... <laughs> Oh, I miss him. Okay. Now I have notes. I'm stealing from Kaya. That symbol was also used on that show Millennium. Yes, yes indeed. It was. Right on. Okay, I'm going to start out with... This is the Olive Young haul that I'm going to do here. A couple of things I got on Amazon, and I'll point those out, but you can also get them on Olive Young. And I'll tell you some of the benefits of these. I want to start out with the first things first. Don't look at my face. Okay. Let's start out with this. This is the number four full nutrient firming cream by Numbuzzin. If you watched my other haul, I have the number three toner of Numbuzzin, which is full of um, ferments. And this brand is trending everywhere on TikTok and, and YouTube and with just about everybody right now. And it's a red ginseng cream. And... Okay, I have the benefits here. Buzzin. This retails for $25. I got it for $14.48 on Olive Young. It has fragrance, so be careful. It's got uh, uh, some of your citrus ingredients, so be very careful if you're sensitive to that. It is a very balm-like texture, so a little goes a long way. And it's got galactomyces and niacinamide in it. Galactomyces are your ferments. Niacinamide is pore shrinking. Um, it uh, gets rid of redness, kind of calms the skin. It's good for acne. And I have tried this out quite a few times, and I gotta say, I love it. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and I'm quite sensitive. So if you're aging and looking for a firming cream, uh, I highly recommend this, as long as you can take sort of a citrusy smell. It doesn't last too long, but boy, you will wake up just looking like shiny and firm and lovely from this cream. So, mm -hmm. yes, niacinamide is 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 uh, a fantastic ingredient and it loves my skin. Be careful of too high a percentage; it can cause an allergic reaction. Um, and again, this this came from Olive Young, and I signed up for the app, so everything I got on sale, everything here I got on sale. Plus, I got it 50% off on top of that, which is why I was able to get as much stuff as I did. Okay, so that was the Numbuzzin Cream. Again, $14.48. Uh, retails for $25. <laughs> the next... Numbuzzin. Numbuzzin. Show you. This, again, is the number three, which is matching to my toner. This mask is... It, it definitely smells very citrusy. It tingles on your face. It's supposed to. It's a pore refining mask. Whoop, there goes my notebook. Um, it's got tons and tons of serum in it. It's very soothing once everything sinks in. And uh, this was $7.45, retail $16. It's pore softening and is full of ferments. So if you're a big fan of ferments, yes, this is such a treat for the skin. Yes, sales. I'm good. I'm good with the sales. Okay. Oh, this, this is just goofy. This is the I'm sorry for my skin sheet mask. Um, can you guys guess why I got that? <laughs> just just out of curiosity, can, can anyone guess why I might have purchased this particular sheet mask? Um, this one was a buck eighty seven. It it retails for three. And its main ingredients are going to be calming ingredients like um centella and uh Oh, it's got chamomile and aloe, and it's got a little bit of ferment in there, but it should be very soothing. If you like fun sheet masks, Olive Young has got you covered. That's a good brand, too. They had... Um, yeah, I'm sorry for your skin. Some other yeah. ones back in the day that, that I used to like, because they were gloppy gloopy. That's the thing. <laughs> like he just said about this, this is a jelly sheet mask. The Numbuzzin one is a clear serum -y sheet mask so it's a little bit thick but not too much it absorbs into the skin it's not sticky this one on the other hand is going to be sticky it is a jelly sheet mask okay next 
down, look at me, is the, okay, and again, like I tried these so that you guys could, I love a mask, can feel like that personally, yes, I, I'm, I'm a big sheet mask fan, and that was a pack of five that I got for, uh, the Numbuzzin was five sheet masks for seven forty five. These are the Round Lab Soybean sheet masks. Now, this is a pack of 10. And this was $18.63, retails for $33. Um, this is a very creamy, I hate saying that word with Chantal. It's creamy. creamy. It's creamy and yummy. Everything's so creamy. It's so creamy. This moisturizes. It's got black bean ferment. It's got caffeine in it. It's for your moisture barrier and it de-stresses the skin. I was having a rather, my skin is flaring really bad right now from stress. And I put one of these on and it really calmed the redness around my nose and the dryness and kind of that tight feeling that I was having. So if you find, they do have these on Amazon and they do go on sale. Again, it was uh, $19 uh, on sale and $33 not on sale. If you catch these on sale and you like a good, creamy, really, really moisturizing sheet mask, this is the one for you. This girl, yes, we do keep masks in the fridge. We sometimes. do. We have a skincare fridge. We have a skincare in fridge. The dead of summer. Oh gosh, that is so nice. <laughs> yeah, I have those uh, uh, gel eye masks. Um, I actually have some that I need to review. I've got the Pyongyang Yule, and then I have the Grace and Stella eye masks that I want to review for everybody because one is a black tea ferment, and the other one I think is just kind of a, a moisturizing under eye mask. <laughs> I like, like a face mask that comes with wine. Creamy. <laughs> yes, it's, it's very fresh. Yes. Extremely fresh. Mm -hmm. So fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. I'm going to do this one real quick. Cause... Paul, stop trying to make fresh happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> when you sign up for all of the Olive Young app and order from the Olive Young app, uh, not only do you get a percentage off, and I'm not sponsored by any of this, 5.5 um, Licorice pH Balancing Toner. This has been a viral product for a long time. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of the company that usually sells this. It's not Soko Glam. Oh, Wish Trend. Wish Trend is usually the one that sells this. Sorry, I have to get my stuff. But I got this for 99 cents and it retails for $28. I love their facial calming mist and I love their moisturizing cream. It's a, a licorice extract, so it's brightening, gets rid of hyperpigmentation. It's got camellia, which is your uh, green tea. So it's brightening and slightly exfoliating without being irritated. So if you can't do things like tretinoin or retinol, which I'm sensitive to, um, this is a great one for exfoliating. It is a very loose toner, so it's, it's not very viscous at all. It sinks in, doesn't leave any stickiness at all. <laughs> Fresh and deep fried. <laughs> yeah, no, mini fridges are fantastic. I can type with both hands now. Dad is putting the boy to bed. I have tried Peach and Lily. It unfortunately breaks out my skin. Um, everything that I've tried by them just does not agree with me. It's not because it's a bad product. It's simply because I have sensitive skin. Um, they make really, really fantastic stuff. They do. Okay, let's go on to this one. This is a company that has gone viral on TikTok and other platforms. It is called July Me, and the way it is spelled is J-U-L-7-M-Me. So it's July Me, but with a 7 in the middle of it. Uh, the shampoo went viral. I haven't tried that yet, but as soon as I do, I will let you all know. This is the Sunset Freesia Body Lotion. And this I got for $21, but remember, I also got 50% off on top of everything. Um, but it retails for 30. This has um, a pear and freesia scent. It's got a little undertone of musk. It's beautiful and fruity and floral and I fall asleep with it on and it gives me good dreams. But it's got your fruit extracts, your shea butter, your ceramides. So it is all about healing your skin. It is a good one for a treat after the shower. Okay. Bye Ange, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. It was great to see you here. So if you like kind of a bougie body lotion just as a treat, I, I recommend the July Me. Um, I have other body lotions that are less expensive that are also... This... I'll give you my holy grail. This can, comes off Amazon. It is the Seraphic or Seraphic Illuminating Body Moisturizer. This is 10 bucks on Amazon. It's holy grail. 
smells mildly of roses, and uh, it is both brightening, hydrating, and ex well, I should say thrice. Brightening, hydrating, and exfoliating, but mm -hmm. gently, so it's not going to mess with, uh, uh, like, hurt your KP, but it will help get rid of, like, uh, KP chicken skin. So... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't do natrium because I don't like, um, or is it natrium, naturium, what, what is the name of it? How do you say it? Mm, I, I don't like the, don't the know. woman who owns the company. She was shady in the way that she started her company. So uh -huh. <laughs> I'm over here taking notes like I don't wash my face with dial hands. So. <laughs> no shame in that. I've done that. No. I got Mr. Nashies into skincare. He's, he's into it now like I am. Yes, I've, I've lapsed a little bit. Recently, Can't do rose or any really that. floral scent. Bum bum. Oh yeah, that's that's a good cream. Um, hang on a second. I've got a woodsy one that is. What was the, the woodsy one that I got? I'm trying to think. Um, I got a woodsy lotion recently. Uh, it's in a pile somewhere down here. Oh, I know where it is. If you like woodsy scents, hold on. I have to go and I have so much stuff to haul and show you like in backlog. Um, this is from Amazon. I think this retails for like 22 bucks. Um, the tiniest bit of this goes a long way. It's also handmade. It's by the oil bar and it's cocoa butter body smoothie with sea buckthorn and carrot oils, which are both for, um, anti-aging. And the scent that I got on this is the Egyptian musk. And this, this smells like musky, wonderful heaven. No floral. You can see how thick it is. Do not put this on wet skin. It will not rub in. You have to be dry <laughs> to rub this in. But this is a thick sucker. Not going anywhere. But the oil bar on Amazon. Yes. Yeah, the drama over, yeah, Naturium or Natrium, whatever it's called, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you like, if you like Boom Boom Cream, um, you would probably like the Egyptian Musk smell, because they have a similar profile. They do have a similar profile, and the other one that has a similar profile, which, why is everything dusty? <laughs> there was a cat. Is <laughs> Moroccan oil, body, uh, body lotion. It smells really, really good. It's those nice musky scents. Okay, where did my notebook go? <laughs> I'm losing everything. Okay. But yeah, the bum bum cream is great. Okay. Let's move on to what I'm wrapping. Hand me this oil baked. Okay. This one's for you, Ms. Gorl, then, since you don't like the floral scents. This is the July Me Body Wash. I got it for 24, but remember, again, half off of that. It's 29 retail. Um,. It is a pine lemon vanilla sandalwood scent. It's not Ooh. close to boom boom, but when you're in the shower, it smells so good. If you shower, it's it's not going to do anything more for you than like Cetaphil or Cerave, but it it does smell wonderful. It lingers on the skin, but just ever so subtly. And uh, so, if if you just want something for fun that smells really good, the July Me products are beautiful. Yeah, musky scents. I'm I'm a big fan of the musky scents. I don't tend to be a floral fan, um, but I would say the Sunset Freesia. It's not cloyingly floral, is the thing. So, but if you like musky scents, this soil baked July me go on Olive Young, get you this, get you the lotion. You'll love it. Got a split. Leave you running in the background, though. Thank you so much for coming in, Ham Hat. Yeah, really thanks. appreciate it. Watch the replay for any of the other skincare stuff, because there's still quite a bit to go. I'm going to show my Holy Grail eye cream coming up here in a minute. So, Okay, that was the July me. Oh, oh, this one's fun. This is the one that I've been using. My hair is a mess right now, because I got out of the shower and we started doing this. Um, this is the Mise Scene, which is a famous brand, Mise en Scene. Uh, kombucha shampoo and conditioner, and I told you all that probiotics and ferments and that is going to be the big thing coming up here in skincare, which is why I've got all this probiotic-y, uh, uh, fermenty stuff. And I got the shampoo for 15 the conditioner for 15 They retail for 23 
Now these are a solid sandalwood scent. I will start out by showing you, and I'm gonna do shorts on these to show what they look like. This is the Blackberry Kombucha Shampoo by Mise en Scene. And then we've got, my nose is running for some reason. We've got the Blackberry Kombucha Treatment, which is conditioner. And the ingredients here, let me get that up there. Why is my nose running? I'm losing brain fluid. Um, <laughs> This has plant lipids, no silicone, black tea, and I believe it's also got ceramides in it for moisturizing. Furiously yeah. taking notes. I'm I'm like a skincare, hair care, body care queen. Was it too close to me? No, no, no. Is it showing my fat? No, I'm trying to just trying to get the the, the oh, uh, shampoos. Yeah. In the frame. But yeah, these uh, like I said, they're a huge bottle. So this is gonna last you a long time. I've been using this. It has left my hair smelling really good, very sandalwoody, but not overly so. Uh, you can kind of smell it throughout the day when you're moving your head, and it's a lovely, warm scent. I prefer always using a leave-in conditioner because I have very fine, dry hair. I'm naturally blonde. I don't dye my hair. It's virgin hair. Uh, but I am graying at the same time, so I have kind of this, this funny texture that's going on because some of my hair is just thicker than, than others, and it's very wavy. No fat showing your good things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get used to being on camera eventually. I got to get my teeth fixed so I can, you know, show my face online. But, um, but I do for the, the price for these is fantastic for the size of the bottles and for what you get. Korean shampoos and treatments, AKA conditioners are designed to be used on the scalp because a lot of people don't moisturize their scalp with certain conditioners, uh, because it can clog your pores. These are designed for scalp health, for moisturizing. This would work on all kinds of hair types, but like I said, if you're dry like me, you may still want to use a leave-in conditioner uh, uh, to, to just kind of, my hair will get poofy without it, let me put it that way. <laughs> my hair will get super poofy. But this smells wonderful, and, and again, for the size of the bottles, you're just not gonna beat that. And hand me that one, because I'll do the shampoo next. It has, and, and that one has no silicones, none of your, your silicones. This one also does not have any of your silicones, again, from Olive Young. And this is a set. This is the Labo H. Um, this is a hair loss prevention shampoo uh, to keep your scalp healthy. And it has also a treatment with it. I'll show you in just a second. But this one has ceramide, lactobacillus, peptides, and caffeine. And the scent on this is mm -hmm. Perinfresia. Yeah, I, I, Ms. Girl, I have another shampoo and conditioner coming up here soon that I think you'll like. Uh, not in this haul. Uh, it'll be here tomorrow, I think. Um, this is the Labo H Hair Loss Care Shampoo, and this was a set. It was uh, $18. Uh, original price was $26. And this is Parenfresia. You notice a, a trend with the Parenfresia going on right now. <laughs> this leaves your hair so soft without even conditioner. And it's the thing, if you saw my, my tweet about on Twitter, about a grandma smell, but doesn't have that <laughs> overpowering grandma scent. It is floral, but not, it's got a musk undertone. I'll read you the notes. It's lemon, bergamot, pear, freesia, rose, and then musk and amber. So it has that musk and amber. And it is a beautiful scent and this is the treatment you just get a tiny thing but you only need the tiniest bit of this and you do put it on your scalp it helps moisturize hydrate um and get rid of flakiness it's got oh, what was it in there something in there that uh i think it's salicylic acid that uh gets rid of like flakes and stuff that makes sense but this is just a fun one for when you want to smell good that's the set together there and again that was olive young and that was uh on sale for $18, $26 retail for this set. And they do smell good. But made my hair very soft, very healthy, and uh, I enjoyed the smell all day long. Okay, what else did I got? Okay, that was the soil base. You're over there. Oh. I just panned something and I'm, I'm going to show you. This wasn't from Olive Young. You can get this on Amazon. And I think they have it on Olive Young. This is the uh, Aromatica Root Enhancer. It's a vegan formula, and what it is, is if you've seen, there's been some research that rosemary works a lot like minoxidil. So everybody's mm -hmm. been treating their scalp with rosemary. And I've been using this on mine, as you can see, it's empty. 
It leaves no residue on your scalp at all, but I have all sorts of new baby growth because I lost a bunch of my hair from perimenopause and from going through the vid and then I got RSV after that and it causes that post sickness hair loss and my hair is coming back in just amazing. I use this two or three times a week on my scalp. This will work on as long as you're not allergic to like rosemary or anything like that. This would work great on uh, straight hair, fine hair, thick hair, curly hair, coily hair if you're wearing a protective hairstyle. Uh, to soothe your scalp. This would be fantastic if you wear braids like tight braids or locks or anything like that. Turned one of my friends onto it. She absolutely loves it. Washes out, rinses out. You don't feel like you have anything on your hair and it gives you volume. Uh, Olive wow. Young has extremely fast shipping. I got mine within, I think it was four days. Like yeah, that, yeah, rosemary oil is a, is amazing. I also have the Miel rosemary oil that I use to treat my hair because if you saw my throwback pictures, I tend to grow my hair below my butt and I have, I've been oiling my hair since I was a kid because I tend to be very on the dry side. My hair is very on the dry side, so I'll sleep with it on and then shampoo it out in the morning just a couple of times a week and it just keeps the hair and the scalp so much healthier. Yeah, the Aromatica, and, and again, on this Aromatica, the root enhancer... But it's also for hair loss and for scalp health. Um, it has a rosemary smell that does not last. It's not going to linger. Uh, and it's, I think, 12 or 13 bucks. And the, a bottle like this lasts me like two months. You know, using it every three days or so. I use it every two, three days. And it's mm -hmm. just a couple of spritzes and it feels so soothing and cooling on your head. Is that the stuff you used on my Yeah, my that's the stuff yeah. I've been using on you. Good yeah. stuff. It is. Okay, hand me that one. Don't let it fall out the bottom. Okay, this is Dr. Bio <laughs> Eco Moisture Cream. This is 22 bucks. Um, I didn't get this one on Olive Young because they were out of stock. I purchased it on Amazon. Um, I think I got everything. Yeah, I got everything from that one. Okay, and this is your basic body butter. I'm going to pull it out on the bottom here. Because my skin... No, I'm not handing oh, that okay. to you. I'm sorry. I'm showing everybody. <laughs> I must be sorry. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But this has your ceramides and yeah, this has your ceramides and basic lipids. It's a shea butter cream. Um, it smells vaguely of rose water because it has rose water, but it's got some fruit extracts in there that are just so good for the skin. And I believe it also has licorice root um, and niacinamide, which again, if you're prone to age spots like I am because of my age and the fact that um, I just I freckle real heavy, you know, which is, is, is like that. My grandmother was a redhead. Um, but this is a beautifully thick cream and, but it doesn't feel heavy. It, it goes right in. <laughs> yeah, let's <thank> you. Thank <laughs> you. We're just goofy. But Dr. Bio also has different kinds of lotions. They have a balm. They have like a micellar water cleanser, um, shampoo, conditioner, great company. So if you want something that's not fragranced, but also doesn't smell like butt, because some, <laughs> some fragrance-free stuff smells like ass. Now it's less butt scent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my cat likes this because it's lipids and he will lick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> anybody in here... In, i got to take a schluck of my soda here. Um, but anybody in here familiar with Glow Recipe or a fan of Glow Recipe? <laughs> because I found an incredible dupe for Glow Recipe. This is the, and, and if you watch um, James Welsh, James Welsh, this is your fault. <laughs> Not that you're ever going to yeah. watch this or I'm going to be famous, James but Welsh. this is your fault. Yeah, but <laughs> scent is my signature scent. When you have cats, you always smell like ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the oh, Hamish man. Watermelon Moisture Soothing Gel Cream. Okay. This is a dupe for um, Glow Recipes uh their watermelon overnight mask which is i think the only difference is i don't think this one exfoliates this one is a thousand times better it has no smell because the watermelon scent of their glow recipe it annoys my face i'm telling you it comes in this beautiful jar and it's a huge tub what is this like almost four ounces i think on this let me flip out the top here so i can show you the consistency 
I'm very paranoid about touching any of my skincare with my hands. I, I you'll never st see me stick my fingers in anything. My money don't mm. jiggle jiggle. It, <laughs> <laughs> it do a jiggle jiggle. That do a jiggle jiggle. Yeah. Yes, James is fantastic. Mm -hmm. But if if you like the glow recipe, uh, uh, watermelon mask, you'll like this one better. It feels so cooling on the skin, and I cannot wait until summer when I can put this on on a hot day right out of my skincare fridge. And cost-wise, this is a lot less expensive. This, I think I got for 22 bucks for this big tub, and they have sales on it. Yes, the watermelon nice. stuff, their, their face wash is okay. It's not the best. I prefer the Bee Lab Green Tea. I think it's the Matcha Hydrating um, Face Wash. Yeah, that, that song's funny. Since we're talking about face washers, I'll show you this. It's more Hello Kitty. This is a facial cleansing foam maker, and it's Sanrio. It's got uh, uh, My Melody and, um, what is that, Karomi. And what you do with this is you stick just a dollop of your face wash in there, and then you fill it up. There's a line. I can't see the line right now. But you fill it up with just a tiny bit of water, and then you go like this. You can see there's kind of a thing and it makes it super foamy so that it's it makes your your face wash more effective i think it gets deeper down into your pores and i got this on amazon for i think it was five bucks i just thought it'd be fun to try i'm going to do a little mini video of that right on. uh yes i will post a link um to the watermelon one on twitter and if there's anything to anybody who's watching right now or um who is watching in the future if you want me to link these things for you in the description, I'm more than happy to do so. I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting paid for this. But these are products that I genuinely like. And I would tell you if I didn't. Because uh, there are certain things that break me out and whatnot. So I will post oh, yeah. a link to that. Okay, now this is the one I was telling you guys on Twitter about. This is the um, Beauty of Joe... This is the Beauty of Joe... <laughs> I'm going to say Joey Song. <laughs> it's a Joseon. Joseon. The, the beauty of Joseon. Revive Eye Serum with Ginseng and Retinol. Um, I'm usually very, very reactive to retinol, but this eye cream I have not been. And it comes in this little pump tube, you can see, so you can keep it nice and clean. One pump is the perfect size for both eyes and for my forehead, I found. This has, let's see ginseng, triglyceride, niacinamide. Welcome, Sturmery. Hello, Sturmery! Yes, long day. Uh, this has macadamia nut seed oil, adenosine, uh, cocoa extract, um, let's see, and a bunch of peptides, and plus your retinol in there. And it's for anti-aging, and oh, let me tell you, it does not annoy my eyes. It does not hurt my eyes. I am loving this, and I have seen a reduction in the lines around my eyes, which I'm a smiley person, so I do have quite a bit of lines around my eyes. I will, again, this is another one I'm going to post a full review on. Um, this retails for like 20 bucks, but I got it for 15 because it was on sale on Amazon. You can get it cheaper sometimes. But if you, and there's no scent to this, it's not going to annoy you as far as scent goes. Uh, but if you're in the market for a new retinol eye cream, beautiful. Yeah, that's fine, Miss Girl. Go and tell your dad I said hi. It's fine. Some nice fresh eggs. Yes, indeed. We will see you. Okay. Last couple of things. Will you hand me? Mm, just push that stuff my way. Because I think I did everything because I got to cook. Didn't finish dinner here in a second. I got a pot roast in the oven. Mm, yum, yum. How smells are really good right now. Yeah. And there mm -hmm. are little samples that come when you order from Olive Young. There's one more. Um, is there a, a bottle? It's a bottle about that size. Over there, it's a tube. It says 10 on it because it's the mise en scene mm. 10 treatment. Oh. And I got okay. the Num Buzzin Centella Relief Green Toner Pan uh, Pad. So I'm going to try that out and see if it's worth purchasing. The Consori. Uh, nail cream. There it is. And then I haven't tried this one yet. This is the Mise en Scene uh, Ten Salon Plus Clinic. This is a treatment for your hair. This one does have silicone. Silicone is good for some people's hair. It's not for other people's hair. My hair doesn't care for it. So uh, that one's a good one. 
Oh, congratulations, Mr. Nash. He's on your promotion from Sturmery. Thank oh, you thank so you, much. Thank you, Sturmery. Thank you very much. Hang on, let me take a push look at my soda again. Yeah, anything new is like slightly out of my comfort zone, so it's kind of like, ah, <laughs> but it's also a good thing. So, <laughs> well, the worst part about the the promotion thing was we found out the day that Gravy passed away. That's it was kind of just like, mm, you know, um, going through some stuff. Ooh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna push that back down for right now. This one I got on. Uh, they sell this on all of Young, but I got this on Amazon as well. Uh, retails for eighteen bucks, I think. And this is the Astura Ato Barrier Cream Mist. And this is a mist that you use to hydrate your face. It's mostly um, ceramides, is basically what it is. Is It's um, got a bunch of glycerin, so if you're looking for something that is super duper hydrating, here you go. It's got dimethicone, so it has that slip, but it is basically a ceramide cream. It starts out, when you put it on, watery. Then it moves into where it almost feels oily, but after a minute or two, it absorbs fully into your skin and it leaves absolutely no residue. And it has, um, put your hand up there so I can spray it towards your hand. Back up. I don't want to get it on my phone. So I can show you the fine mist of this. This would be great for refreshing your makeup. Ooh. You can see that is not a thick mist. Now, little not trick here that I learned from Reddit. Use this on your hair for very soft, hydrated, moisturized hair as a treatment because it's just ceramides. It's fantastic. And no scent to that, no nothing. It is calming, it is soothing, it is beautiful. Okay, moving on to our last couple of things. For anybody who's familiar with, I don't wear makeup, but I do like shiny things. So I like to put shiny things on my cheek or on my nose or on my lips. And the Jones Road, I'm going to burp. Don't burp. <laughs> Am I gonna burp? I don't think Just it. say it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I blame, Ooh, I blame me. Mr. Nashies for everything. Again, so okay. Sorry. <laughs> if you're familiar with Jones Road, they have like this. Um, it's a product. It's a pot of product that's basically like your eyeshadow, your blush, your lipstick, your highlighter, your whatever it is. Well, I found one on Amazon called Bay Free. It's basically the same thing, but for 12 bucks instead of 45 or 60 or whatever the heck they're hawking that for. It is called Bay Free, and it's 12 bucks, and it has very good ingredients in it. I got the color Pink Camellia. And it is super pretty. And again, I will swatch these in shorts as I'm going. I'm, I'm getting used to YouTube, trying to do, you know, a little bit of everything. But this is a beautiful color. You can put it on your eyes, you can put it on your cheeks, you can put it on your lips. I'm going to be using it on my lips and on my cheekies, just for a little bit of color. And again, very moisturizing ingredients that is bay-free, and you can get it on um, Amazon. Yeah, I also have super duper dry hair. Um, if you have very, very dry hair and you're looking for... Um, a fantastic leave-in conditioner. I have um, two options here. One retails for $9.99. Both of these are on Amazon. This is the Main Club One Hit Wonder. Um, this is a 10-in-1 leave-in spray, so basically it's going to cover you conditions, detangles, heat protection up to um, 445 degrees Fahrenheit. No silicone and smells like heaven. Ten bucks. If you're looking for one that has honey and is a bit thicker, the Gisu. It's beautiful, smells good, um, great for a treat, and does not leave any residue in your hair. Both of those are available on Amazon. If you have dry hair, those two are great. Okay, very last thing we're going to do is oh. I bought myself a cute little notebook for doing doodles. This is like, I think it was $8.99 on Amazon. It's got lots of paper. It's cool looking. It has a beautiful painting, Japanese painting on there. And it is the old school book binding. I just thought it would be nifty. And these very cute. Yeah, these are pretty rad. Space pens. Mm -hmm. ah! hey. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Apparently, the sky is falling since they have space pens. Space pens. They, they have galaxies on them. The sky is falling. Oh, okay, good. and those retailed for just a couple of bucks on Amazon again. If there's anything that uh, uh, you, you all would like me to link from this live. 
into my description uh, uh, underneath it. I will do so. If there's a product that you've seen that you're interested in and would like to know more about, please let me know and I will give you all of that information. Um, we should get squeezed so he can say hi to everybody before we go and I go thicken yes. up my... I think I covered everything. The kitties did not join us today. The cats did not join us today. And normally Squee joins us. Yeah. It, now, yeah, if anybody sees anything in this slide they're interested in. Okay. Oh, no, you went ALR. <laughs> journals. So many journals. I need journals. I actually do have a bunch of these, also from Amazon. And I keep my notes for when I'm doing my lives so that I can give you prices and, and kind of little reviews. I also keep my ideas for future videos in here. And everyone who has stayed for the live, I know there's only eight people in here, but hey, it's my eight people, so haha. Hi, eight people. <laughs> um, I'll be doing Nashies this Thursday, Nashy sandwiches, as my cooking video this Thursday. Come here, baby Please boy. Come here, baby boy. Oof. <laughs> there him is. <laughs> There's Say me, Salmon Escribeche, Burs Crunchio. Say hi. Say hi, baby. Okay. I would like to thank every single one of you for coming to my live and for watching and enjoying this time with me. Hello, sweetie pie. Mohogo Bogos from Mama. And for anybody watching on the replay, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. All right. No, I have to see if that popped my face on it. I don't like that. Because I'm. <laughs> oh, you can see me cleaning his eyes. No, mm -hmm. okay, we're fine. Yeah, I'm always cleaning his eyes. By the way, he he does not mind it. I'm I'm obsessive about making sure they don't have boogers. <laughs> that they don't have boogers. Okay. But anyway, thank you so much for anybody who's watching on the replay, who's watching now. If there's Thanks. anything you want me to link, let me know. If there's, <laughs> I have the I have three indoor babies and two, unfortunately, only two outdoor babies now. But I will link anything in the subscription if there's something, or in the description. And if there's anything you want to know about, I'm more than happy to talk about it. I have, this is my boy. He's my only boy. He's my boy boy. He's my big boy. But I will, and I'm going to try and do more of these. Like I said, I have a Daiso haul still to do. And there won't be any hauls for a while because, you know, I've got to recoup some financial from Mr. Nashi's, uh, very unfortunate rabies incident and from Gravy <laughs> passing away. But in the future, we'll do more. But I will have a new cooking video out on Thursday. I am doing Nashies three different ways mm -hmm. for our rural Chantal. Doing the, the signature so, sandwich. <laughs> yes, the signature sandwich. So, battery is running low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning into this episode of Falling Stash with Nashies. And, uh, We'll probably game later this week, too. Do it live that sure. way. So, hope you all enjoyed this, and we will see you later. Say bye, Squee. Bye, 